This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we're going to be putting in a Glacier Bay bathroom faucet. This is pretty easy to do. It shouldn't take you too long. And I'm just taking it out of the box here. These are the different pieces. So that's some parts for the drain. And just want to take these out of their package. Just going to open up this plastic part. Got the stopper, the drain. And also comes with, here's the faucet. Has these um, little plastic uh, nuts on the bottom. You just want to spin those off and then you can remove the cardboard. And then we have an instruction manual. So you don't need too many tools for this, just a pair of pliers and need a little plumber's putty or some caulking. So we're turning off both the hot and the cold water here underneath the sink. So you want to get these turned pretty hard so they're fully off because you don't want them to be leaking a little bit as you do the work. Get those all the way off. This is my granddaughter Lily, she's so nice, she's going to help me with this project. I'm just opening the valves, making sure there's no water coming out. Lily's handing me the different tools I need, which is so nice. The channel locks uh, or just pliers are fine. So I'm going to pull this little spring clip off of this uh, part of the uh, stopper and I'm going to turn this nut. I'm going to use a pair of pliers to help me to get this um, connector off. So I'm just going to go lefty loosey and just pull this off and then I can take the little stopper out at the top. I'm going to use my pliers to go lefty loosey here to remove the water lines. You may want to have a bucket underneath or a towel because some water will come out. Not a, not a whole lot, probably about a quarter of a cup. Using my pliers to loosen the other one. Thanks, Remember again girl. to turn the water off Thanks first. So Lily's going to give me some paper me. towel, so nice. Only difficulty is it's not much room to work, so I'm just laying on my back and reaching up there, and I got a nice flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. I put a little towel underneath me so that um, the edge of the counter doesn't push into my back. So I'm just getting those water lines off first. And then I'm going to grab the plastic nut, black plastic nut. I'm going to go lefty loosey to turning that to my left to loosen those up. I'm going to use the pliers first to uh, get it started and then I just use my fingers to spin them off. Once those are spun off, you can just take the whole faucet right out. It goes straight up. So just get out above, above the sink and pull it straight up. Just spin these off. Somebody had put Teflon uh, thread tape on when they did the um, old faucet and there's really no need to do that because these are compression Ready? fittings. So they don't need that type of uh, Teflon thread tape. I'm just spinning off that last nut and just pull the old faucet straight out, put the new one in. And now that we have the new one in, we're going to spin um, the plastic nuts that come with the new one onto the brass fittings. And that's going to be there to really hold the faucet in place. So once you get these on a little bit tight, you might want to go up and check the placement of the faucet, make sure it's where you want it. You can still kind of move it around. You can slide it forward or backwards. So I'm just getting it nice and straight. And once I get it straight, I'll go underneath and just tighten those up. You can just do finger tight. If you want to use a pair of pliers to go a little beyond finger tight, it's okay. But they are plastic, so you don't want to overdo it or you'll, or you'll break the threads. So I'm just giving it a little bit tighter and then I'm putting the water lines back on and those I want to get pretty tight. 
I want those to leak. So we got those on tight and then put on the other side. And then I can turn the water valves back on and look for leaks. So I'm going to go fully open with the water valve. And I'll do the other side. And you are already ready to use your faucet. The only thing next that we need to do is replace the drain. You don't even have to do that. It just it comes with a new drain. It looks nice, so I'm going to replace it. Lily's going to help me. She's just opening up the valves now to confirm that water can flow out really good. She's a really good helper. And we're going to put in this little piece, and that's used to pull, pull up on that lever to either open or close the uh, drain. Sometimes people want to fill up the basin, and that helps you control that. Mm -hmm. Put a bucket underneath here because I'm going to take off this J trap. I'm going to unloosen these nuts and then take that off so I have room to work. And some water is going to come out. Not a whole lot, maybe about uh, another quarter cup. So now this uh, brass drain pipe that was there, we're going to remove it. I'm grabbing the brass fitting with my vice grips and I'm using channel locks to spin the brass nut. Down. I want to get it all the way down as low as it can go. Once I get that brass nut down as low as it can go, I'm going to go up on top and I'm going to grab my channel locks. This upper part, this um, shiny chrome piece, I'm going to hold on to it and turn it to my left and down underneath holding with my right hand, I'm going to spin that fitting the opposite direction. I want to try to get this this uh, silver piece here at the top off. So I have to spin it off lefty loosey. I have to hold the one underneath with my right hand. Once I get that off I can remove the old drain assembly. Here's the old one. And then I just kind of clean up that old plumber's putty that was there. You would get that whole area very clean. So I'm going to reseal it with the new drain. And I'm going to put a little uh, caulking down there first. Uh, plumber's putty would work really good too. Whatever you have available, you just got to make some kind of watertight sealant. Putting a little bit of caulking down. Not a whole lot, don't need very much. Just a bead all the way around. And I'll put that drain piece in the top and underneath. I'll push up the drain so they meet. And then I'm going to spin in this top one, I'm going to go righty tighty and it's going to feed into that plastic drain assembly. I'm going to spin it about maybe five or six times. And then underneath, I've got a plastic nut that I'm going to move up toward the top. I'm going to hold on to the plastic pipe, but then I'm going to spin the nut up to get it really tight. There's also a, a really nice rubber fitting there that's going to make it watertight. So as I move that nut up from underneath, it's pushing down this uh, chrome piece down hard into the porcelain and it's creating a really good watertight seal. It's also pushing this rubber washer up also helping to create a nice watertight seal. And you want to get this really tight. I'm just using a paper towel to get the extra caulking out of there and pulling this um, nice adhesive piece off of the rim that's that was a protecting piece. 
And then there's also one right on the plunger. I'm gonna pull that one off. It's gonna look nice and shiny. So you don't need to have a plumber do this for you. It's not that hard to do. And again, you just need just a couple of tools, a pair of pliers and some plumber's putty or some caulking. So I took off this washer off of the old drain, the, the brass drain, and putting it over on the, the new plastic one. I'm gonna put the J trap back into position and I'll put these black plastic nuts back on, get them tight. This part is the um, what controls the plunger. And I'm gonna take the metal tube that I put in from the top, I'm gonna push it in against this plastic piece. And then I'm gonna push this plastic piece into the hole. And then I'm gonna put this one into the drain assembly and it'll just click right in. It's pretty cool. And it makes a watertight seal. And show you that again. So I'm going to push that in, get that in position, and just push it in until it clicks. I push this blue piece down, and then go ahead and get this nut on the J trap. You ever have a um, ring or jewelry go down the drain it's always going to be caught in this drain trap you can just do the same procedure take this thing off and you'll find your ring or whatever it is so it doesn't go down the drain the main purpose of this though is not to catch things it's just to keep um, the sewer gases from coming up through the sink because this thing fills with water and prevents air from flowing the bad air from flowing from the sewer into your bathroom. So you're gonna get this all nice and straight and then you can tighten up these plastic nuts and then you get a nice watertight seal. And you can turn on the water up top to make sure that the drain doesn't leak. And you are done. It'll take you probably about 30 minutes to do this. Just testing out this this piece is what makes the um, plunger move up and down to either shut off the basin or open up the drain. There's nice water flow and that's it. So so glad you're able to watch. I hope this helps you to be able to install your bathroom faucet. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance. Thank you.